it's great to finally um like talk to you because we've been listening to so much yeah. of your music stalking oh, you on oh, facebook wow. on yeah. your twitter <laughs> keyword oh, stalking that's crazy. That's pretty much <laughs> Pretty like much. Yeah. That's cool. So how's, how's everything been over there? Like, uh, how long have you been over there for now? I've been here in the States since March. Yeah. Um, wow. And I just got to L.A. a couple of days ago. I've been traveling around the States. A yeah. uh, majority of my time has been spent in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm there serving at a church and I'm also just touring and working on my own music. So, I yeah, I, uh, I miss home, but... Oh. Like I'm honored to be here and, and yeah. blessed that um, God has me doing what he has me doing here, <laughs> singing and stuff. And yeah. It's great. You're, I love you're it. You're definitely in the right place. I mean, mm. for a lot of your fans over there because you've had like sold out shows. Crazy. Round of applause for that, by the way. It's awesome. Eh? Oh, thank you. Like, and I read you I were like able to hustle it. like 15 more seats for, was it your LA show? It was, yes. Yeah. So I had, <coughs> excuse me, um, I had two sold out, sold out LA shows and the first one we tugged at the venue and just asked for 15 more tickets just for that first night yeah. and they were very kind um, and let us have those 15 tickets and it went in like two seconds. So wow. uh, I don't even know. I don't know <laughs> what's happening. Yes, you know. So, yes, you know. You're a big I, thing. <sighs> I, I, honestly, I'm being real. I, it's all overwhelming, yeah. and I feel blessed, honored, humbled, all of that. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> like, did you ever think, like, coming, like, because you were, were you born? You were born in Australia. I was. Yeah, born, born and raised in Melbourne. In Australia, and so like, no. when, when, where, whereabouts in, in your life did you like decide, like, okay, this is it. This is, music is the path I'm going to take. And did you ever think it was going to blow up this to this magnitude? The second question, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> to the first question, um, I grew up in a musical family and was raised in a Christian home. So mm -hmm. from the get-go, I've known nothing but the love for music and the love for God. Um, I would probably say as early as four years old, my dad wow. forced me up on stage just like my siblings and the rest of my family. Uh, we were all, like, forced into it because that's, like, our culture back it in Thailand. Like an island family. <laughs> it's, an, it's an islander thing. So yeah. we, we yeah. sung in church and did all that, but it didn't really come, become serious yeah. until I was 13, 14 years old. I actually left school to pursue music. Wow. And it's been crazy ever since. Yeah. It's cool, like, hearing you talk about your family like mm. that. Um, uh -huh. Because, like... Um, I saw this video of you and your parents. It was like a mashup of carols. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so cute. And so do you, and you've also, was it your brother that you sang that, uh, a Tongan song with? <sighs> I've done a couple with my family. Yeah. Um, one with my dad, one with yeah. my mom, one with both of them. And yeah, there's probably one with my siblings as well. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I, I love mum and dad's uh, fob accents, man. They, they, they crack me up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my mom's hardcore breaking English. <laughs> She's so far back. Um, but dad, dad is um, he's he's actually uh, his English is pretty good. So, <laughs> um, yeah, they're both like my life, my rock, yeah. and I can't um, imagine life without them. And I just appreciate their support. So they're like gifts from God, pretty much. Oh, it's really awesome to hear. Like you sound like a really grounded person. Does does that mean mum and dad get to travel with you everywhere? Like do you take them uh, uh, with you on the tour? Yeah, is dad your bodyguard? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I'm so broke. <laughs> hey, the muso life is real. It's, it's yeah. hardcore out here. I've just been uh, hanging out with Sammy J and we've, we talk about music all the time and it's right. just, um, it's hardcore. I wish I could bring my family, but... Yeah. Um, maybe one day yeah, at the will. moment, they're just right. like at a distance supporting yeah. me from home in Australia, yeah. um, while I'm out here in the States and, uh, it's so big of them to let me go. Um, even since 14, I've been I on know. the road ever since yeah. and they've had to, uh, let go of me a lot earlier than expected. Yeah. Um, so it's been a challenge for them, mm. but they've been selfless and humble yeah. in the journey as well. Just letting me go yeah. and, and trusting and, and, um, like I'm always listening, listening to God and where he wants me and my family's doing the same as well. And yeah. so that's why it's easier for them to, uh, 
let me go and do my yeah. things. Yeah. And that's that's a big thing it. in the Polynesian culture, especially being a daughter. Like it's it's a big. Yeah. I mean, for boys, it's a lot easier because boys, you can go, you can go out and you I'm know. I'm so the envious music. of you. My parents would have <laughs> never let me do that at yeah. fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it was hard for them. It wasn't an easy yes. Yeah. It was like I literally woke up one day and said, "I don't want to go to school," and like after long hours of praying and. And yelling. <laughs> and tears. And um, crying. <laughs> and tears, yeah. blood, sweat and tears, all of that. Um, it, it was, it's a challenge. Every yeah. sort of decision and choice that we make in life is a challenge. Mm. But uh, we just got to trust in our instincts and yeah. and go for gold. Yeah. Um, and also, I was just wondering, maybe you'd be able to help us out because um, we're going to be celebrating Tongan Language Week this yeah. week. Yeah. Here in the Ordinary Studio. Amazing. Um, and we in, our Tongan is so... We have Tongan friends. Like, Tongan our best friends, friends are Tongans. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we just know... Um, we, yeah, we were born on the neighbouring island of Tonga, uh, Samoa. Uh, you might have heard it. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> family. Still fam. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you cool. could ha- like. Do mm. you speak Tongan yes. or do, do your parents? Do you understand? No, because <laughs> a lot of Tongan friends. Okay, let me tell you this. It's now added to my bucket list to learn mm. Tongan. It's yeah. so bad that me and my siblings, like my siblings, I'm the youngest. Yeah. They know more Tongan than me. Y- y'all probably know more Tongan than me. <laughs> it's pretty sad. Um, but I understand it. So yeah. um, I think it's different. My siblings and I, we were born and raised in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We moved out of the Tongan church when I was four, and we've grown up in the sort of Western society, Australian yeah. way. Yeah. That's how my parents raised us. Um, and so although we don't know how to speak it, we understand it, and they've still been amazing in keeping our roots yeah. Uh, yeah. within the family household, yeah. even like being away from Tonga, migrating via New Zealand to Australia, Mm. like our culture is is still very present and and, um, on the forefront of who we are. So uh, I I can teach you like the bad words. That's about it. Uh, We'll save that for another show then. Another show. (laughs) That's that's the night show. (laughs) (laughs) But but speaking of of Tongans being in the forefront of things, I mean, the Tongan country and flag have been like everywhere around the world. I mean, you had, Literally, you, you've got like the, the, yeah, the Tongan flag bearer. I mean, that guy went viral. Are you related? I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hope not. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, <laughs> that was awesome. I just I haven't seen much of the Olympics, but I saw, saw this yeah. thing going viral, yeah. and he repped it good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were oiling yeah. him up and everything. Like yeah. these news presenters from the US were like, "Oh, so what do you guys put on your body? It's coconut oil." <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, true. It's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's how we do it. So, <laughs> um, who are some of your musical inspirations? Mm. Like you were talking about your parents being a big musical influence in your like earlier life um, performing, but like now that you're like an established singer and performer, who would you like draw inspiration from? Yeah. Okay. So this question is um, always a little difficult to answer. Um, right now at this moment, I don't listen to music. Um, I was exposed to music when I was younger, yeah. um, but it was only church music, like hymns and stuff. Whatever my family would sing is the mm-hmm. music I'd listen to. <clears throat> and then subconsciously I would know about like 90s R&B because that's what my cousins played ah. in the car. Um, yeah. Um, but I like from since I left school, I didn't ever listen to music. Mm. Like the time I would listen to music, I would use that to write and create and invent. I'm mm love writing probably more than singing. And so in terms of inspiration, um, it wouldn't necessarily be people in the music industry. I'm, yeah. I mean, there's people like Stevie Wonder, Elvis, all of them mm. amazing. Yeah. Lauren Hill, I'm a fan of. Um, but my biggest inspirations uh, is my family, my dad. Um, mm. And I draw inspiration from life, like life and the sounds of life is, is my music. And um, even silence is powerful for me. Um, yeah. And I yeah. also pray a lot and um, just wait on words to kind of come to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just anyone with a story of um, integrity and someone who is able to overcome uh, the hardship of life 
um, is an inspiration to me and, and they inspire my music and stuff. Mm-hmm. Even children inspire me. Yeah. I love them yeah. very much. Just that limitless, free, unreserved. Honest. Sort of, um, <laughs> honest, yep. you know, innocent. Um, no filters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, I, I, they inspire me to live that sort of, live life with that approach of limitless and yeah. Uh, that's that's my inspiration, pretty yeah. much. That's awesome. That's an that's probably the one of the awesomest answers I've ever heard to yeah. that question. That's really great. Oh wow! So, like, how <laughs> many how many songs have like uh, like you say that songs come to you? So, how many songs have you written, and how how many songs have you been very proud Ooh. of, and how many songs yes. have you chucked away? Like, as an oh no, maybe yeah, that sure. one kind of thing. Yep, yep. So I haven't chucked away any, um, even the bad ones. Yep. So I've learned in writing. Um, uh, you just got to let everything come out onto the paper, whether it sounds good or not. It, it could be uh, not make sense in the moment, but make sense later. And so um, the worst thing to do as a writer is erase things because, mm-hmm. yeah, every idea is a good idea. Um, musically. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, how many songs have I written? Gosh, I've been writing since... 12, 13, which is when I picked up the guitar and taught myself, is the first original I wrote. Um, what was it about? I would say like 50 to 100 um, songs, including like ideas, a verse and a chorus. Like a lot, some of the songs won't be finished, but um, I'm telling you, like I have this undeniable passion for writing and creating. Yeah. Like it's something I just can't help. Yeah. And um just words flow through you and you just can't help but write it down kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. And, and like, I, I, I want to be a voice for myself and for other people. And there's a lot to say in this little time. Mm. Um, life is short. And so I just really find such honor in, in hosting and hosting this gift of writing and music. So wow. that's yeah. great. Um, and you have, I don't know if you know, but you have a whole lot of Kiwi fans here. They love your music and are going to be watching um, the show. Awesome. And so, like, even for me as a girl seeing you and how confident you are and how creative and how beautiful your music is, and um, what advice would you give to, you know, upcoming singers? Not just girls, but boys as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Yeah. We're the same. <laughs> I'm no different to uh, <coughs> any other person, um, but I'm also unique at the same time. Mm. And so I would say to anyone who wants to pursue music, don't ever compromise who you are um, musically and most importantly, like your soul. Yeah. and your character don't ever compromise for anyone be you be yourself there's only one of you mm. and um like whether you are aware of it or not you play a big role in in making a difference in the world and who you are is significant and your mm. voice and your words and your music um there's uh it doesn't matter what scale of stage you are on, whether it's big on the Grammys or in a little cafe down the road. Um, it's all the same significance and, uh, stay humble. That's yes. what my yeah. <laughs> taught me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am the way I am because, uh, my parents and how they raised me and my siblings to, um, always work hard, but stay humble. Mm. And that's the most important thing. I think humility will get you further than anything. Um, so yeah. that's my advice. I really love the way you celebrate. Yeah, like you, you are, you are encouraging to celebrate our own uniqueness in, in a way. Yes. And, um, yep. speaking of unique though, I, I love your hair. So what, what's, what's the whole, what's the get oh, with the hair? You've had like, so many colors. I remember yeah. seeing you had like a turquoise <laughs> color before. Yeah. And sometimes you have a straight and then curly. Is there a theme going on with it? Is it, is it your, is it your color? It's, it's my color. Yes. Yes. So, um, I've been every color under the sun, uh, but one day I was sitting in a hair salon and surely, quietly but surely, I was prompted to dye my hair purple on the spot and I believe God was telling me to dye it. <laughs> Sounds crazy. People think I am crazy, but um, when God tells, tells me to do something, I do it. So um, this was like frustrating the hair salon girl and she's like, well, we're going to go pink and I need to mix up the purple. <coughs> anyway, um, 
I found meaning in the color yeah. after I dyed my hair. Um, purple is symbolic of who I am. It's it's uh, before anything else, before a singer, before uh, an annoying 21-year-old from Melbourne, Australia, before any title that anyone could possibly give me, I am first and foremost a daughter of the king and a child of God. Yeah. Um, and uh, purple it signifies royalty. Yeah. And I think uh, self-worth is and self-belief is something just – we all struggle with, mm. um, especially in a world with so much noise and chaos and, and voices telling us um, who we are. Yeah. <clears throat> and sometimes we can believe it. But for me personally, I find validation and worth and value in who God says I am. And so that's what purple is. And uh, it's not just for me, it's for everyone as well. And it's available for everyone as well. Um, hey, which salon? So that's why my hair's purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next time you see us, that's we're going to have purple hair and purple fingernails, purple lips. Purple eyebrows. I want to dye my eyes, eyes purple now. Have Ronnie, purple. I'd love to see you in that purple. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Right, right. My producer's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. that'd be that'd be crazy. But that, that's that why my hair's purple, and yeah. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> well, we love it as well. We hope you don't change you. change it anytime soon because it's really great. So, so do you do you rock it? Do you rock it out to um, into public with the purple outfit to complete it as well? Like, <laughs> do do you do that? The outfit. I think the purple hair is enough. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah that's I mean, too much I'm royalty. <laughs> yeah, I might put purple shoes on and stuff. Um, like. Not unintentionally, things will just look, the purple will just leak out into my fashion. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be purple, honestly, yeah. until I go all white when I'm old. So yeah. I would have loved to have been there when, with, with that conversation with mum and dad. And he goes, What color are you been in your hair, Ken? Like, purple, God told me to. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, what? Uh. <laughs> no, God told me yeah, to paint my hair purple. Are you sure? <laughs> Mom, don't tell me that my hair Yeah, no, it's, it's oh. hilarious, but it's true. <laughs> well, at least you stand out in the crowd as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. I didn't ask for it, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, purple's hard to miss in yeah. a crowd. And it serves as a constant reminder, and it keeps like it's really great. It's actually. Th connected to a theme of, of, of the philosophy yeah. of the person that you are, which it, like, it keeps it, you yeah. grounded and, and connected to your music as well, which is so everything. <laughs> you're, you're basically a walking billboard for, for, like, for, for who you are, like your music and the passion yeah. that you portray. So it's, it's uh -huh. really beautiful to see. It's real cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. So hopefully you're going to come to New Zealand. Christchurch. Come to Christchurch. Oh, yeah. We can make you get. We could. We've got this stuff called gunge. It's kind of like slime, and so we play it okay. like. You have to come to what now? Yeah, so and it's we purple. Can, we can. We can just, color it purple. We can color it purple. Yeah, I'll only see it if it's purple. <laughs> Imagine that if we have a purple themed show just for you. Like all the, all of us have to paint out here purple just for just for oh, you to come wow. in. Oh wow! I <laughs> dare you. I. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the princess of Tonga. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit much. But... <laughs> we like to go over the top here. <coughs> so what are you, what are your Sorry, plans buddy. for for the rest? Are you so you finished touring now, or um, are, you, are you resting up? Are you finally get some new time now? Yeah. So I'm nearly done. I yep. have my second show in New York uh, okay. this coming Friday. Uh, this will be my last show for in the States for the year. Yeah. Um, but then I am in Chicago for another two months. And then at the end of October, at the start of November, yeah. I'm here, coming to New Zealand and I'll be on tour with Stan. Stan Walker. So, Stan Walker. Oh. Yeah. Oh, your yeah. very own. <laughs> We're going to come watch Stan you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. We'll, I'm we'll so line excited. up outside in the cold just to, just to see you. Your spot. <laughs> We're going to be the ones dressed all in purple. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Looking, yeah. looking okay. like a bunch of oompa loompas in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of barnies, eh? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, well, so speaking of, the, of 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 people you've been singing with, though, because you've also performed alongside like Guy Sebastian and and and, 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 and people like oh. I mean, I love Guy Sebastian. I mean, what, what's it like? Do, did Me you get go a bit fangirly when you meet people like that, or was it kind of like real chilled? Like, hey, what's up, man? Kind of. <laughs> it was chill. It was chill. It was chill. Um, so, yes, yes. I his brother. Yeah. I know his yeah. brother uh, a lot more than than Guy. Yeah. So uh, his brother has seen me grown up in music and stuff. Um, and so it sort of felt like 
family still meeting guy. Right. Uh, but before I went on tour with him, I also did – I featured on a song on his album. Yes. And so I had met him – I fangirled a little bit when I, <laughs> so that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it slowly became more like soul to soul, human to human uh, sort of interaction yeah. as we got to know each other more. Um, I don't know him all too well, like, you know, but uh, I know how much he loves music, how much he loves his family yeah. and how passionate he is about music. So yeah. that's really awesome to witness. And I can't believe I, toured with him. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That blows my mind. And another Telling album you, um, you featured on was the We Love Disney with the cover yes. of um, Do You, you Want to Build a Snowman? snowman. I love that cover that you Go, did. Ronnie. Get no. it. <laughs> Don't encourage that's, that's him. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> Come down to Christchurch and we'll, we'll do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For the next okay. Disney album. I'll, I'll be counting on it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yes, um, that was also very fun. So... Um, it's crazy to think that a a Disney tune is the start of, um, is the seed to like a lot of what's happened in the last two years. Mm. (laughs) Um, and so, yeah, ever since putting up uh, a really crappy one minute version of, do you want to build a snowman off frozen? Um, since then it's, it's been amazing. And I got the opportunity to record on the, we love Disney album alongside, amazing other artists um and yeah it's awesome so do you love they, they ask right? for it all the time here they're like do you want to build a snowman and i'm like okay <laughs> and the time we're like no i don't want to build a snowman <laughs> we'll make it a purple you snowman build... Honestly, you can't you can't build one out here in la yeah. maybe chicago is a bit more colder there but... yeah yeah <laughs> And like, yeah. uh, do, do, do you what have you seen frozen though like <laughs> like have you been made to have i seen frozen are you really asking me that? Yeah, because, well, for me, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Frozen. Like, See, be, he doesn't I'll be straight up and honest. He doesn't I, understand. I'm, I'm like Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King. Okay. When I saw Frozen, I'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Really? You can, you can appreciate all of them. He doesn't understand. He doesn't uh, understand. I mean, I like Maybe Olaf. because... I mean, I like Olaf, but then I just, yeah. Okay. Just... Yeah. Well, Lion King is the best Disney yeah. movie on the planet. Yeah. Um, it but could Frozen change with good. Moana. <laughs> Oh, everyone's could, talking could, about that. Yes. <laughs> Moana could take that title of the best Disney movie Yeah, ever. I think it will. Yeah. Awesome. I hope so. I wouldn't be mad if that happened. Like, represent <laughs> the islands, man. Yeah. So and good. I, I can't wait to hear the soundtrack for Moana as well because they always make great soundtracks for uh, for Disney movies. Do you know when it's coming out? November? Yeah, November. It, released, it gets released in the States in November. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll okay. arrive a bit later. Oh, uh, you'll be in New Zealand. Zealand. We can go watch You can go movies. I was, I wasn't going to say, but yeah, she suggested. We've got this on tape, but you said that you were shouting us to what now. <laughs> I'm so keen. That'd I can't wait to see that. I really can't wait. Yeah, it's oh, going to be a good one. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule yeah. to have a chat. Easy. Easy. Of course. Thanks tips. for having me. No, thank you. Like, it's, it's really inspiring. I'm actually slightly speechless at that. Like, I, we did not know what to expect coming into this little um, interview. But you, you sound like a very beautiful person on the inside and both on the outside thank as well. You. So thank, thank you. you so much. And um, you, this this will go on to bless a lot of kids who get to watch uh, you on Sunday, yeah. Sunday morning. So awesome. thank you so much, um, Fatai. Yeah, and uh, God yeah, bless awesome. with everything that you uh, put your heart and soul into for the yeah. future. And um, yeah, one day we very much hope that we come to, to see you in concert. It'll be, it'll be a dream. Awesome. It'll be cool. Yeah, I look forward to meeting you guys in person. That'd right. be great. Then I can awesome. touch your purple awesome. hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, now, it's you're, now you're not going to come, eh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a little dry, but okay, whatever. Okay. Well, thank you so yeah, much, Fata. Have a, have, is it, it's a Monday? You're just getting started the week there in the States, eh? It's just a Monday, right? It is. I don't even know. It's, yeah, you haven't it's been Monday. out of the house lately, eh? You're like, it's Sunday in the week, I think. It's Monday, yeah. Right, it's Monday. Yep. Well, have a great week ahead, Yes, then. and best thank of luck you. for your last well, two shows. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, all the best to you as well, and thank bless you, you guys. Thank you. God bless, Fatai. See you in November. Happy Bye-bye. Tongan Language Week. How do we say goodbye yes. in Tongan? Um, wait, okay. Goodbye? We probably have to say, <laughs> Ofa? Ofa. Ofa. Uh, ofatu? Ofa? 
Ofa. Uh, Ofa too is I love you, yeah, but Ofa is like I love you and goodbye at the same time. I think. Okay. Um, oh, tau toki siyo. Tau toki siyo. Ofa tu ta ni We'll see you later. I think. Oh my god, you should probably ask some real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should have skyped you your dad and, and mommy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but yeah, Ofa to and yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Pass it for. What now? Sunday from eight a.m. on two.